Okay, my friends, this is going to be a really interesting. I, I went back and looked at all my original papers, and I've got dozens of them. And I was talking back, this is 2015, a dipole electron flood theory. And I was saying there are really particles that come from the sun. The, the sunlight is particles. It's not just a wave of nothing. It's particles. Now, these particles, which we would call electrons, have a mass, and that's why they draw drive a Crookes radiometer, which is this right here. Now, I have been studying this because in 150 years, nobody can explain how this works. Because first of all, they don't know what light is made of. They have no idea what light's made of. Whether it's a particle, it's a wave, it's both. Well, it is both. I've shown it. And I have papers coming out of my ears and I'm going to post them, you know, I'm going to go through all of them. Because they start back in this, about 2012, I started really building a library of papers. And I'll show you, hold on. But we're going to get into this deep, deep, deep. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to prepare you. These are all different papers that, that are in, in the works. And these are editable papers that I have to edit. <laughs> and these are finished papers. <laughs> all those are different papers all kinds of different stuff I just get crazy with this I can't help myself and these are publishable these are ones like I cold fusion using a Venturi electron flood theory this is updated in the 2019 and these are all publishable ones and I have a lot of these on academia.edu and that's why I'm saying this today because somebody requested a copy of a paper and I have to upload it to there but I have, I have a bunch of them up there already on academia.edu. And I had a, the, what, what the guy wanted today was the giants. This one right here, giants in history and mythology and all this business. And um, this was from 2015 when I had the DNA tests and CAT scans. It was real. It was what it was. And they, I was absolutely, totally destroyed on the Internet by a lot of different things. So I just withdrew you know I still have all the stuff See, here's another one this goes back to 2018 universal electron flood theory I guess I was calling it universal then but it's dipole electron flood theory but they're, they're every electron is the same in dipoles and I go down through the whole thing and this is from 2018 um, and uh, what changes in the standard model not not everything, but quite a bit. And I had videos on all these different things explaining the different light and their interactions and showing pictures of them. And notice the tiny little glowing dots, which are all these particles in the air being excited by this field plowing through them. And the um, Higgs fields and the muon neutrino, sterile muon is the black particles, and the electron neutrinos are the showers, and that's the shower. And they come through with black, and, and uh, well, here it is right here. You can't really see them well, but there's all kind of little black particles, and then the white is the shower. That's the Cheryenkov. So anyway, this, this was... Um, you know, I mean, it's fairly well documented what I'm showing. And this is the killer right here. Have somebody explain that to me. I know what happened here. I can, I can, I do understand what happened. This particle should have been like this. How did that happen? Let's have some physicist talk to me about this. Because these are Higgs. I know how it happened. I can explain how it happened. So anyway, that's, um, I've got a lot a lot of papers and uh, and and it, some of them are wrong some of them are right but there are uh, it's a new way of thinking about things because our history is wrong because of the giants and all of that stuff giants and myth and history and all that needs to be reassessed we got to look at what's in the earth because it's mud fossils change our everything there and our history's completely changed and chemistry is completely changed because none of this is right anymore. None of that's right. It's all completely wrong. These are made out of dipoles like this. Helium, I mean hydrogen, is made out of 1,825 or so 
actual dipoles, not just one big positive and one tiny little negative, but they're all dipoles. It's the same atomic mass weight, but it's all made out of little bits and pieces of bar magnets. Basically, that's all it is. They're little dipoles. A dipole means a positive and a negative. That's it. And then you, they get bigger and bigger real quick. That's almost 2,000. That's almost 8,000. And it goes up to hundreds of thousands. Not just a handful of particles. It's just not, it's, biology would not work with that. Plus, you can't account for isotopes and half-lifes and all that stuff. Protons turning into neutrons. Neutrons turn into protons. You can't explain any of that if they're just solid particles. Here's another one. from This is from 2018. Cold fusion using a Venturi. Fusion means you have to have something split apart and have it come back together and fuse together. Well, if you create fission, when it comes back together, that's fusion. That's what we did. And I show all of the different interactions again, all the particles. And there's that little white one that I was talking about before, saying, how did this crazy thing happen? Here's the particles gaining energy. The green are exactly the same as the red. Plasma, the key to fusion. And all of this stuff, the, the Rod Warren and Fabian Boulay did most of, well, Rod Warren did 99% of everything as far as the, re, um, the um, experiments and the pictures. And Fabian did a couple things. I did some, but Rodney was the guy. And he's in, in uh, Australia. And um, he's the guy. These are the green. They're the same exact same particles as the red. I show this over and over and over, and, and I can't get not one single physicist to talk to me. I pre presented the exact same thing to Fermilab that they found. We found exact same identical particles, and there's no interaction. I think we can get free energy right now. 